The biggest factor for better overnight auction levels. So with sleep apnea, one of the most important things that I would recommend you track is tracking your overnight oxygen levels, not just what you're breathing, but the oxygen in your body. That way, you know just how bad your breathing is, because if it's bad enough, it will impact the oxygen levels in your blood, and that is what starts the damage in your body. So this is one of our client's data over the course of 12 weeks. So this orange red line, this is tracking how many oxygen drops per hour they have at night. So the lower is better. And this blue line is their relaxed pause. It is a marker of how well they're breathing at night. As you improve the relaxed pause, as that goes higher and higher, then you'll have fewer drops at night, meaning you have more oxygen in your body and you're gonna be sleeping better and feeling better when you wake up. However, of course, progress is not always linear. They had a bit of a plateau during these weeks, but then worked with them, changed things up, allowed them to progress to a place where pretty much no sleep apnea here at that level. So if you want some help getting results like this, you wanna work with us, recommend you go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive. And there you'll learn more about how to work with us. So just go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive.